Hey everybody, I uh, have a little DIY project. Uh, the idea was to take an old iOmega iX2 NAS storage unit and put it into a 2U server case. Now I bought the iOmega used for $30 and I got the server case. Uh, it was brand new, but I got it used for uh, about 10 bucks. So I'm into this about $40 and we'll go ahead and see how I can do it. All right, I'm actually cutting the server case. Uh, I believe it was like 25 inches long, and I'm cutting it down to 12 inches long so it'll fit in my server cabinet. I don't have a full server rack, nor do I have room for it. So I have a small server cabinet with a switch and a, uh, another server, and now I'll be adding this NAS. So right here I'm cutting the lid at the same depth as the case, which is about 12 inches. All right, I got the case put together. Um, it's cut, got all the bolts lined up. Now here's the iOmega NAS Store Center iX2, which I'll basically be taking apart and mounting in the server case. Let's watch how this goes. Okay, I went and got my anti-static strap since I'm working with this board here. I don't have an anti-static mat, but I think we'll be okay. Now it would be nice if I could retain the structure of this device and keep it as is because I have the rails for the hard drive to slide in. It would make it easier, but I don't. So, because of this. All right, I'm back after about an hour's work. I was able to get the bay unit mounted in the front of the rack. And I was lucky enough to use a lot of the existing parts of the iX2. So you can see I used the face frame, which still allows me to plug it, the unit in. Ethernet power, I got two USBs for printer sharing or extra storage. And what I did is I just took the case cut the top off, had to do some modification along this edge, along this edge, just use some hot glue. I mean, you know, what else can you use when you're doing this kind of stuff? Hot glue works great. And the neat thing about it is the drives fully function. And the nice thing about it is the drives are sliding along the existing rails. So they fit nice and tight. I can hot swap them 
And once I get this up and running, it should be pretty straightforward. There's nothing else that I need to do. I'll probably put a fan in the back. Um, the rest of the case could be used for more hard drives down the road, I guess. Um, but I don't know if this NAS unit can do more than two drives because it only is a two drive NAS unit. So once put the top on, there shouldn't be any It's perfect. Got my DIY NAS unit. Thanks for watching.